concern about Kate Middleton's health is gripping minds with growing apprehension. Today, global news agencies tirelessly illuminate the latest details about Kate's condition and William's return to key institutional duties. It is likely that the Prince of Wales will once again choose the path of temporary withdrawal in the near future due to domestic issues, which takes him out of the media and institutional space. A French media outlet presented an exclusive documentary project about Kate Middleton, questioning the actual events. On Wednesday, April 17, 2024, significant impact of Kate Middleton was announced. Natalie Renew, a famous presenter on W9 Channel, discussed the new episode of the documentary series, What Really Happened?, dedicated to Kate Middleton's stunning admission about her illness. The documentary systematically depicts the developments surrounding Kate Middleton's illness. It mentions preventive chemotherapy, talks about cancer-fighting methods, and how Kensington Palace, or someone else, deliberately missiled to avoid public outcry, as everyone was simultaneously interested in where Kate Middleton was. Eventually, nothing was left but to publish a photo of Kate with the children, a fake image where the engagement ring was also missing, which only fueled rumors. On March 22, Kate Middleton, looking exhausted and tired, sat on a bench in a London park to inform the world about her cancer diagnosis. Several weeks earlier, King Charles admitted to battling a similar illness and many already speculated that his son William would ascend the throne much sooner than expected, with Kate as the queen consort. Now it is claimed that Kate is the main asset of the monarchy, while William is the beloved grandson of Elizabeth I. He is perceived as more traditional than his father, and Kate is a bright representative of modernity. She is cheerful, stylish, and close to the hearts of the people, a devoted fan of famous fashion brands, an ideal wife and mother who turned William, previously unpopular, into an exemplary monarch. Never before in the history of the British crown has a woman evoked such unanimous approval, so when Kate suddenly disappeared from the media space in January, all of Britain held its breath. Then it was claimed that on March 11, the princess's photo again fueled wild rumors about her health and possible desire to manipulate public consciousness. Why are questions arising at Buckingham Palace about whether they will hide rumors by deliberately falsifying photographs to create the appearance of the princess's well-being? Now that the serious trials Kate is going through have become known, how will the couple handle this unprecedented crisis in the country's history? For the first time, international news agencies have released a special edition about Kate Middleton. They wonder why the palace is behaving the way it is. Why did they conceal so much evidence of Kate Middleton's dire condition? And why, all this time, did they decide to use doubles and deceive to hide Kate, Meryl Streep, so she not only didn't appear anywhere, but also to suppress rumors, even resorting, according to some experts, to artificial intelligence to create videos, which is already causing serious concern. Additionally, it is said that since she has been preparing for the royal throne, Kate has not hesitated to change communication codes within the British court, as she, along with William, created their own YouTube channel and hired a communication guru. It's interesting, will she continue to play the transparency card in the coming months? William's return is marked by his paleness, purple circles under his eyes, weight loss, in general, demoralization, and serious deterioration of his condition. I understand that battling one illness, let alone two, as it is the illness of his wife and father, with three young children at home, must be very challenging. But everyone is asking themselves the same question. Something is happening that they are not talking about, something very serious that transcends how William, Kate, and in general, Kensington Palace have been managing and handling communications. Now they are also wondering if Kate's illness can strengthen family ties, some of which have become strained. And what about Harry? Will he show solidarity from California? Or will this really end this union? As for William, they wonder if his presence next to his wife can silence the tabloids, which have persistently mentioned his infidelities. I think what is being published in general leaves no one indifferent. It used to be said that the American press is very harsh on William, linking him to infidelities. 
But now we see even the French press making special programs, as if something serious is happening. Everyone is talking about relocating to a hidden residence, where Kate Middleton will retreat, or at least be in the process of recovery. Reading on social media, I notice that this topic is quite similar to what happened with Formula One driver Michael Schumacher.